We did learn overnight that the vice president has now condemned the violence in Charlottesville, saying we have no tolerance for hate and violence from white supremacists, neo-Nazis, or the KKK, these dangerous friend groups he says have no place in America. When will we hear President Trump actually single out those groups by name? Well, he said that yesterday, as a spokesman did in his initial statement on this, roundly and unequivocally condemned hatred and violence and bigotry. Um, he called on our people to work together in community and in love and affection and not in hatred and violence. Uh, he, I'm sure he'll talk again, maybe today, on this very subject. He cares about it deeply. Uh, he, uh, as his attorney general, I understand exactly what I'm expected to do. It's what I uh, will do, and that is to vindicate the rule of law. You did say that the president uh, did speak out over the weekend, but he did not single out these groups by name. It was an unnamed White House official who said that. Uh, I do want to ask you, part of his reaction was that there was hatred on many sides, on many sides, he added a, a second time. There was immediate reaction from those who were puzzled. Uh, this was a white nationalist rally. What sides was he talking about here? Uh, racism, uh, white supremacy is totally unacceptable. Uh, I think the president talked about the problems in America in that first statement uh, had been going on a long time. He said before Donald Trump, before Barack Obama, a long time. I think that's the kind of thing he was referring to. But he Too was talking to the red but he was, that. He, he was he, unequivocal. He was talking to the nation about a white nationalist rally. He was talking to the nation about a white nationalist rally. And in doing so, he talked about the hatred on many sides. He uh, explicitly condemned the kind of ideology behind these movements of Nazism, uh, white supremacy, the KKK. Uh, that is his unequivocal position. He totally opposes those uh, kind of values. His statement yesterday again affirmed that, and I think you'll hear that again today. As you know, uh, just, as you know, Attorney General, it's not just reporters like me. There are a growing number of Republicans who say the president needs to be doing more. Marco Rubio, uh, Orrin Hatch, Ted Cruz who's calling this domestic terrorism. Do you agree? Was this domestic terror? Well, it does meet the definition of the de domestic terrorism in our statute. We are pursuing it when the Department of Justice uh, in every way that we can make it, make a case. Uh, you can be sure we will uh, charge and advance uh, the investigation toward the most serious charges that can be brought because this is an un unequivocally unacceptable and evil attack that cannot be accepted in America. So absolutely uh, that is a factor that we'll be looking at. You have said the president will speak out again on this and there was Senator Cory Gardner of Colorado who said this. Call this white supremacism, this white nationalism evil, and let the country hear it, let the world hear it. It's something that needs to come from the Oval Office, and this White House needs to do it today. It's a Republican senator there from Colorado. Is that coming now from the president? Well, the president, will, I suspect, will be uh, talking to the country again soon, maybe today. Uh, I plan to meet with him today and the FBI today. Uh, we'll be meeting with him to brief him on this case. He takes it exceedingly seriously, uh, and there's no doubt about it. Uh, he opposes these kind of radical, racist bigotry uh, that uh, these organizations uh, espouse. You talk about this as an opportunity uh, to come together uh, on this front. This is a president, as you know, who is known for his blunt talk. You know, for a week now, we've been reporting on the war of words with North Korea. Many Americans could likely quote that line, his warning of fire and fury. He was so clear on North Korea. And even as a candidate, he said this. To solve a problem, you have to be able to state what the problem is, or at least say the name. Will he say the name of these groups? Well, we will, uh, he will say what he believes is appropriate. I think he probably will. His spokesman has already said that yesterday. I fully expect him to say it again. Uh, the initial statement he gave was within uh, just a few hours of the event occurring, and I believe it was very strong and a clear condemnation of racial bigotry and hatred, and white supremacy certainly was included in bigotry and hatred. So I think the president will be there. Uh, he is a strong 
strong leader. He's an outspoken leader. Uh, he he uh, uh, expresses himself in clear and blunt terms. The American people elected him. I think that was one of the things they liked about him. Uh, and uh, I think he'll be honest and direct with the American people as soon as he talks to them again. We are. We're thinking about those two families of the state troopers and that mother of that young woman who was killed uh, this morning. Mr. Attorney General, thank you for being here.